Hi everybody. Well, this is a video I wanted to make about my radiant floor heating system that I am in the process of building and modifying. Um, so, what I did is uh, I basically pieced everything together from parts that I got at Home Depot and some other uh, internet websites. Uh, so I'll go over the system real quick and explain to you what I did. I basically have two sections here on the wall. I have my potable water mounted on this piece of uh, wood up on the top. And on this bottom piece of wood, I have my um, floor heating system, closed loop floor heating system. So as you can see here, I'm using uh, two instant on on-demand electric water heaters. Uh, this one here is used for the potable water, for the bathroom, the shower, the kitchen. And I'm using this one to heat the water for the radiant floor system. So, from my cold potable water, I just took one line and looped it up and around. And that's coming into uh, first a uh, backflow preventer and then that's piped over to a fill valve 15 psi fill valve and then that goes to uh, a six port manifold for half inch packs with three quarter inch on either end and you can see I branched off to a couple of uh, valves one of them I plugged off so what happens is, this is my return. So this is, this red line here is my return from one of my heating systems, from one branch, and this orange line here is a return from a different branch. So when those two return water to the system, it goes up this tube, comes over to the water heater to get heated. So when the system's up and running and it's stabilized, the temperature is stable, the water coming back into the heater is about 90 degrees. And then I have the heater set to send it back out around 125. So it's adding about 35 degrees of heat to the water. So then when the hot water comes out of the heater, it loops up here, comes into my air separator with the automatic air purge valve up top and a 15 PSI uh, pressure tank below. Then it goes into the uh, taco circulator, pumps the water back down this tube, goes into the second manifold. So this is my hot water supply to the radiant floor system. And then I only, I only, have, two, I only have two zones right now, so basically I have the red zone in an orange zone, and they go out to the two different floors that are being worn. So what I did was, I capped off one end, and on the other side, I installed a Watts PT gauge, pressure temperature gauge. Got those at Lowe's, they kept them in stock. Uh, pretty much the rest of it I got at Home Depot. This I had to order on Home Depot's website, the Ream. It's an RETE 13. Uh, on-demand electric water heater and all these parts up here I got from Lowe's because they had everything in stock or Home Depot had to get ordered so this circulator pump just does what it does it circulates the water through the system pumps out goes into that manifold goes out throughout the house comes back in on this manifold then goes back into the heater to get warmed goes around and around in a loop. Uh, I guess if it ever needs extra water, then the blue feed line will add water to the system through the feed valve. And uh, so I'll go over the gauges real quick. This is measuring the return water. So right now the system's shut down, it's not working, so that's why it's showing about 60 degrees. Uh, and it runs usually, usually runs around 12 PSI. Right now it's sitting static at 14. So we'll go over to the other gauge. It's showing about the same, 13 and a half, 14 PSI. And 
and uh, put the needles a little bit off. Maybe it's showing about 70 degrees on that needle. So in a different video, I'll go over the red system that I built and the orange system that I built, and I'll show you the differences in what I built and how I modified them. And in the meantime, if you have any questions or any comments, please post them below. And thanks for watching.